Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll uh, learn about git stash command, right? So here, uh, before starting uh, this tutorial, let me tell you why git stash command we needed, right? So let's say if you got some task and you created a branch out of your develop or any mm -hmm. master branch, right? And you started working on that branch and you did some modification and after uh, some time uh, you get uh, uh, some uh, other priority requirement and uh, let's say some hot fix kind of stuff and uh, you haven't completed your work till yet and you want to uh, basically switch on some other branch and uh, after some time you want to come back on that branch then uh, whatever changes you have done that you can put into this temporary memory is called a stash right you can stash your item and easily you can switch on some other branch to work and once you've done done with that changes and you uh, you would like to come back on again on your current working uh, branch right so here uh, to make this demo uh, let me show you in my github uh, i have a repository singleton design pattern underscore two and there are three branches master develop and feature three branches i have created now my workspace is uh, pointing to feature branch if i could show you in eclipse this is showing on the feature branch this my workspace local workspace is synced with feature branch right now what i'll do uh, first of all i'll mix my make some changes just say uh, for your understanding uh, i'm not going to make any uh, basically code related changes but uh, just i'm going to make some change in a java doc uh, it's a singleton design pattern right just i have made changes in java doc and if i go here and if i do get a status then this will show me there is one modified file right uh, that is here uh, uh that uh, basically showing as a under uh, i mean uh showing as a basically modified file right so now i can stash these files how we can do that git stash now i decided to move on some other branch before that i can stash uh, my change so i'll do git stash so that will move into the stash and here you can see and uh, that list you can see like uh, git how many item i have saved into my stash git i stash list this will show you the all the item available in the stash here you can see a stash zero right a stat at zero so there is only one item in the stash and if i do git status then this will show us as a clean this is uh, not showing any item to commit right uh, so easily i can switch on the some other branch let's say i make one more change in this class and let's say i make one java doc changes just i'm putting author of this class who has created kk java tutorials okay i made and i would like to make another item i would like to add one more item in the stash so as much as much as as much as uh, i mean you can put as much as possible uh, items in the your stash so again i do git stash and here by when you are going to put uh, when you are going to save your item in the stash you can use another command is called git stash shape and here you can give some stash or uh, related message so just saving in a stash right just stashing message you can specify over here and press enter so this item also will get saved into a stash with some message if i do uh get a stash list then here you can see there is two items so first item was saved on the zeroth index and second item was saved on the first index right now there are a couple of uh, more uh, uh, commands which i can show you right let's say now i switch on the some other branch right and again i come back to here and i would like to uh, take these changes from the stash then how we can do that right so let me switch this on some other branch so easily i can switch so what you can do after stashing this item you can do git check out and you can give less a develop branch i i would like to switch so here you can see i switch on the develop branch and if here you can see uh this is pointing now on the develop branch right and develop branch uh, has uh, 
uh, has a different code right so here you can see now work space has synced with the develop branch now i did all the changes in the develop branch i i had done my hot fixes and again i would like to come back on my feature branch so i'll do uh, git checkout and feature so i would like to so i came back on my feature branch and here i i can check my stash so there is a still two item right and let's say I do git stash apply right when I say git stash apply then here you can see uh, git stash applied has basically bring my uh, second stash item right which was the latest item but, but uh, that did not bring me the uh, 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 first item right so latest item that brought brought me in the my working a, a working uh, uh, a, a working copy right in local working copy uh, let's say if you want to bring all those item right so git stash apply here you can show so this item has been uh, sorry this item has been brought into my sorry this item has brought uh, in my uh, basically in working copy but i would like to bring this one also so git stash apply there you can uh, specify the this stash id as well so i would say git stash apply and here you can stash id you can specify as well right so here if i come back on here then see this where this has to bring okay that did not bring some message we are coming so say okay that command itself i have written there is some mistake git stash apply then zero title and here you can see what happened so that brought me client test.java right so now next item would be on the first so here if we could see uh, that uh, brought this change as well right so greet uh, sorry git stash then stash id you can specify to basically bring a stash item to your uh, local working copy right so that's the another basically uh, uh, another command now git stash list if i do then there are still both item is available in the uh, basically uh, stashed uh, area so git stash apply basically bring your item into the local working copy but that does not delete from your uh, basically stash area so if you would like to delete from a stash area then we have a git stash sorry git stash pop right so this also takes uh, basically a stash id but if i do pop then latest item will be removed uh, from the stashing area that will bring into uh, your working uh, area so see this these two files which was uh, stashed uh, uh, let, let us stashed or is removed from the stash area if i do git stash list then there is only one there should be only one item but i don't know why this guy is not showing uh, one item should be removed this latest item was supposed to be removed now next uh, item you have a git stash uh, drop right so i think git is a git stats pop that bring my item into a working uh, working area right working uh, work space but that did not remove from the uh, basically a stash so that i i have another command git stash and then we have a drop command drop if i do this then latest uh, basically stash item will be removed so let us stash item is this one zero uh, first index if i do the list then here you can see which was in the uh, uh, first index was removed again if i do git stash uh, drop then there would not be any item in the uh, stash area because zeroth stash item which is in zero that is also got removed because of this command right so when you do git stash drop this will remove the latest stash item if you want to or drop some item from the stash uh, a specific item then you can do git stash drop and space you can specify you can specify the stash id as well right now next thing what i would like to see so again 
I would like to stash my item. So here I would say git stash, sorry, git stash. So if I do git status, so these are the item modified item in my working area or workspace. So I would say git stash. I'm going to put this item in the stash again. And there are some more commands we would like to oh, basically learn. So, so uh, we learned git stash drop, which basically drops a single item uh, from basically let us stash item from the basically is stashing area. Now there is a, another command git stash clear, which will clear all the stashed item uh, from a stashed uh, area. So I'd say git stash clear this will clear all the stashed item right if you do git stash list then nothing will show you because all the items has been removed now if i do git status uh, git status then that is uh, showing so when you clear uh, clear when you issue basically git stash clear that will that, that will basically uh, undo all your changes your changes will be uh, basically uh, gone away so when you uh, apply uh, git stash clear then make sure that uh, this will change or this will remove this will delete all your changes right this is a risky now let's say i am going to do some changes design pattern right i do some changes and of course if i do git stash uh, git stashes then this is showing this changes in my uh, working uh, directory in local repository now what I'll do I'll do git stash right and if I do git a status then this is this work is showing neat and clean so that I can switch on some other work uh, uh, other branch now let's say uh, if I did many changes and just I'm putting into a stash and after that what I want uh, I want uh, I want to create a branch with my changes right whatever changes I have done with that I would like to create a branch right I don't want to put my changes on the feature branch so I hope you understood I I, I have created a branch from the feature uh, just I am making some changes in the feature branch and I have assessed my item now I want to create a branch with my code whatever code I have uh, 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 and plus a stashed item means all those changes which I have saved into a, a stashed area then what is that command git stash branch git stash branch and you can give them a branch name let's say I would say my uh, let's say dev one right I have given branch or temp temp feature I said temp sorry temp feature I am going to name temp 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 feature branch and if I press enter then here you can see uh, I have created a branch with name temp underscore feature with my uh, with my changes so whatever change I have done that will be available on this branch but that will not be available on the feature branch now right so that's all i have in this video tutorial regarding the git stash command guys i know this is a little complicated sometime but if you uh, if if you watch my video carefully then you'll understand what's the significance of git stash uh, command i hope you understood if still you have any question then uh, Please uh, make a comment to below to the video. I will try to answer guys. Big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video.